Purdy, one of the best paintbrushes money can buy. What makes it worth 15 bucks when you can buy the same thing for two bucks? Well, the bristles are the main thing. The bristles are a nice, uh, sharp, sturdy bristle that hold up over time and don't fan out and get all squiggly and scraggly uh, like cheap paintbrushes do. The other thing is the way they're cut. A cheap paintbrush, when they cut the bristles off, they just have one solid knife that goes down across the end. A purdy paintbrush is, actually has the bristles ground off. So there's a big wheel that they compress all the bristles together and then they grind them off. And so you end up with somewhat of a staggered variation. If you look real closely, uh, you can see those variations and that causes the very tips of the bristles to splay out and break off a little bit. And all those variations tend to hold more paint and carry more paint from the bucket onto the wall where you want it. That's what makes it worth the money. So to be fair, really any name brand paintbrush, Wooster, Purdy, those are two of them. I think Sherwin-Williams makes a good one. Um, but that's really the main thing that sets apart the cheap paintbrushes from the really good ones. So keep that in mind. If you're fine with a cheap paintbrush, go for it. But if you're willing to invest in the good stuff, it can really pay off, make your life a lot easier, especially for a job that's not really fun to begin with.